Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel here at the Canva Cafe. And as we know, Canva has had a few updates and unfortunately the shadow function is not available right now. But I'm gonna show you a workaround. First, duplicate your image and remove the background. And then we'll select the image that we want to um, have the shadow for and go to select um, edit photo and choose the uh, effects I don't know why I can't talk. <laughs> I'm tired. And then select dual tone. And the trick is once you go into the dual tone, um, select any one of the dual tone. It doesn't matter. And the key is to change the colors in the dual tone to black. Both of the colors select black. And then after you've done that, the next thing to do is apply the blur effect. And then I'm just gonna show you the different um, amount of intensity that you can use for the blur effect right here. You can turn up the blur or to decrease the blur is your choice. So next we're gonna do the transparency and this is the other part that makes it a shadow. So I'm gonna turn down the transparency so it'll be more transparent. <laughs> And then you're basically done. And that's the first technique um, using the dual tone effect. And then when you're done, you're gonna place your image over your tr um, shadow and then you're gonna group it together. So when you get ready to move your image all over the page, it'll all move in unison. And here I'm just playing around with the transparency and blur just so you can see um, the different levels. And next, I'm just gonna group it together just so you can see, so you're able to move the shadow and the image all together as one. Okay, so now we're gonna do it a second way. And we're just gonna go and use the filter button. And what you're gonna do is change all the settings and you're gonna put the brightness at minus 100 the contrast all the way up to the other direction, which is about 100 or 97, I believe. And the highlight is gonna be minus 100, well, negative 100, and the shadow also at negative 100. And you don't have to do anything else. You can always put the um, white down to uh, minus 100 also. But other than that, that's all you need to do. And once you've done that, we will do the other steps that we did before, which was to um, go back into the blur and blur the image and then go back into the transparency and make it a little bit more transparent. But I'm just putting my image on top of it just so you can see if you left it solid, what it would look like, just so you can see the difference between where the shadow is and where I am. Why I'm doing all this, I don't know. It's just probably because I was too lazy to edit <laughs> out of the, the tutorial. And if you want to try Canva Pro free for 30 days, don't forget I have an affiliate link down below and you can feel free to try it. And also, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share. And don't forget to put in the comment section any other videos you would love to see me do. And I am working on a new video of all of Canva's new features. Um, just give me a second to get to it. I do still work a regular job. <laughs> if you don't know, I am a nurse also. So sometimes I be at those people's jobs and I be too tired. I'm sorry. Don't forget to follow me over on the Instagram at the Canva Cafe and see what's going on over there. Love you. Bye.